What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Shoup here watching the Tom O'Brien Show. Uh, it seems like the results are in. I guess uh, Kamala Harris did call Trump to concede. Uh, I guess that was released an hour ago. I know there was some uh, kind of speculation regarding some of the votes that had not been counted yet uh, due to mail-in, but it seems like uh, that's what's going on. I want to say too, you know, for everyone in the den and on YouTube and stuff like that, I, I know these kind of days can be definitely a little bit sensitive and uh, it's, I, I just loved, like the whole day I was watching The Den, I just wanted to make sure nothing you know, went insane or anything like that and uh, you know, it just, it blew me away because the rest of the internet I haven't even been going on because it's just such a flame storm. And so it's nice, you know, uh, we've kept it, you know, the only mention of politics in it is how is this gonna affect, you know, the stock market, what do we do, how do we trade, and a lot of people have been trading today. Um, so it's been awesome just to kind of read The Den and, and you know, be at rest, right? At least throughout the workday uh, with all that kind of stuff. If you guys are not in the den, maybe you're watching this on YouTube or watching this on Twitch or uh, whatever it may be, I really recommend going ahead and checking that out. You can go to tfnn.com uh, right here in the services tab. Uh, actually, it's on the front page. I just put it there yesterday. Uh, as the computer loads a little bit, um, you can do the Tiger's Den trading room. It is $1 a year to get in there. The only reason we charge that dollar is because we want to be sure we know who's in there. That's for the safety uh, of, of everyone, right? Obviously, we keep your information confidential. It never gets out. But go ahead and check that out. Again, that's $1 a year. You do that. You set up Discord. Very simple app. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> maybe, a lot of people use it worldwide. And um, yeah, it's great. Uh, I've, I've gotten... Turned on to some pretty good options there, and uh, it's neat. Additionally, this Friday, I really want to stress this as well. We have uh, live trading Fridays with Larry Pesavento. And so basically, you just sit behind Larry. Uh, this is in the Discord server as well, and you can watch him as he kind of uh, trades, and you can make your own decisions based on there. Uh, Tommy set up this uh, kind of savings code we have for this month. That is going to be Larry Nov 24 Larry N O V for November 24. That's a fifty. Uh, dollar savings right there for your first month. Uh, so strongly recommend coming in and checking it out. That's also a great way to kind of start uh, the day. That's 9 a.m. to noon. And uh, that price is actually good for two sessions, right? So the second and fourth Friday of every month. But, you know, say you get it on the fourth Friday or something like that. Yeah, of course, you can come to the one that's the next month as well. So that is for two sessions of that. Let's take a look what we got going on in the market right now. You have the composite up about 3%. I mean, like, like I'm looking at the E-mini, uh, this thing took off today. I, I mean, really, we're getting up right under the 6,000, making all-time highs in the Dow and the E-mini, uh, trading at 5,957 right now, right under that 6,000. Uh, you have the composite up about 2.93%. The Dow Jones Industrial is flying, making major highs, 43,694. I mean, you know, we were floating around that 42,000, and, you know, we're 300 points away here from 44,000 which is kind of nuts. Uh, so we'll see if that continues, if this is kind of like a pump, get people in, maybe some of the big guys pulled this stuff, we'll see what happens. And then you have the Russell flying as well, trading up 5.7%. All right, now to get to it, you have a massive rebound of the dollar. You have a lot of these other currencies, you know, Canada and Europe and stuff like that kind of getting devalued against uh, this kind of thing, uh, the dollar itself. So you have the DXY up about 105. It's trading at 105.06, trading up about 0.16 uh, as it stands right now. That's essentially creating some kind of selling pressure, right? In gold, we're off about 2.77. This is the first time we're breaking that 2700 level uh, in quite a while there. Of course, you're just about to make 2800. Uh, you have copper uh, getting hit pretty heavily as well, off about 5.26%, trading at 423 on that contract and then silver off as well, about 4.53%. Uh, of course, your bonds are coming down as well. Uh, some of the big winners for today, yeah, I mean, obviously Tesla, right? Uh, this is what we were saying, everyone kind of knew this, or at least I did think that everyone knew this, and I'm not saying this to their shade because that's not true and this person has done phenomenally, but you had some like really large fund managers sell Tesla right before this election in the event that Musk actually won, which I, I didn't really understand. And the argument for that was, well, the shareholders don't want to see him being in government. And maybe on the long term, that's kind of true. How does that operate? It's, you know, kind of remains to be seen what's going to happen if, if Musk takes the Secretary of Transportation or whatever he's doing, um, how, uh, you know, 
much he can be involved in in Tesla. But um, as we've been seeing with everything we see with Musk, right, even if SpaceX does well or something else does well, Tesla goes up, right? I mean, that's just an invest on the, or just a buy on the name, really. And uh, yeah, with with Trump winning, you have this shooting up 14.8%, which is uh, kind of nuts, trading at 288 as it stands right now. Of course, American Steel, this is Steel Dynamics right here, trading at 13 uh Point three to the upside there, doing a one fifty three massive move up. Uh, yeah, wow. Now, what's kind of unique about it, especially with Tesla? So this is the, the thing I was saying, right? With like EVs. In the event that you had the Democrats win, this was going to be bullish for EVs, right? Because they've been dumping a bunch of money in to try to get the EVs running. In the event of a Trump win, EV, it, it, it wasn't a necessary given that they were going to sell off in such a major way, right? Because you had Elon Musk in that cabinet. It seems that how it's playing out right now is it's more just, I think, bullish on Tesla because of Musk's name. I, I can't see a realm where Trump would do something so devastating to one of his you know, cabinet members' kind of companies like that, if that kind of makes sense. But you're seeing in other things like Lucid trading off 7.3%, heavy to the downside, and then Rivian is getting smoked as well. One of the things that made me kind of nervous, you're off about 8.78% right now in Rivian. Uh, I think it was, I think he was talking on Joe Rogan as a Donald Trump interview, but he brought up this concept of the electric vehicles being too heavy for American infrastructure, which is kind of unique. And he talks so, so much about oil. I mean, he's gonna drill. You don't have crude oil off too much right now, uh, trading off about 0.19%. Uh, but even at his victory speech or, you know, the pre-victory speech that Trump gave last night, he was like, we are going to continue to drill. He keeps referring to oil as liquid gold. I think he sees that as a way to kind of pay off debt uh, to enrich us, which is contrary uh, to what this whole strategy has been over the past four years, which is divesting out of oil. Now, I say divest, we're making the most oil we ever had and more than anyone in the world. So I don't want to paint it like we've somehow been contracting on that end, right? Uh, but the investments from that have been kind of going in the I think, right? So it, it's hard to say right now. I I think it's a shame because we just found that massive lithium deposit in Arkansas and that could really enrich us as well. And so I wonder if you have Musk whispering in his ear and uh, his tune might change on that. Folks, stay right there, we'll be right back.